This is a quick demonstration on the difference between a rate meter or Geiger counter and a dosimeter. So let's start out with the basic principles. A rate meter measures units of radiation per amount of time. So the CDV 700 model M on the left and 6B on the right measure uh, beta radiation in terms of counts per minute and measure gamma radiation in terms of millirentgens per hour. The CDV715, which is a highly inaccurate meter, um, I won't go into it now, but never trust these, um, they measure radiation in terms of rentgens per hour. Whereas a dosimeter measures in terms of just millirentgens or just rentgens. It's your total accumulated dose. So how would these be useful? So say you're in a nuclear war and you pop out of your fallout shelter and you need to know if it's safe or not to come out. Now if you just brought these, you'd have to sit around for a long time and then do some math to figure out whether or not it's safe to come out. You'd be checking your scale a lot and see like, oh, I was just exposed to 20 rentgens in one hour. That means I'm in a field that is 20 rentgens per hour. Now, wouldn't it be nice if you had a device that could have told you that instantly and you wouldn't have had to be exposed to 20 rentgens in radiation and be at risk for radiation sickness and cancer? Well, that's what the rate meter is for. You can enter a radiation field instantaneously and it will tell you how much radiation you will be exposed to per amount of time. So I have the needle set on this using the zero function to 3.8 Rankins per hour. So if you stood in a radiation field that was 3.8 Rankins per hour, after one hour, your total accumulated dose is 3.8 Rankins. That way, um, you can measure that field instantly, move on, check somewhere else, and you don't have to sit there for an hour with a dosimeter and find out if it's safe to come out of your fallout shelter or not. Now, Geiger counters measure in much, much more sensitive terms of millirentgens per hour, um, 1,000 times more sensitive than a rentgen, and they have a purpose of detecting contamination and very low-level hazards compared to a survey meter that is lethal hazards. So I'm going to talk a little bit about meters commonly sold as Geiger counters that are not Geiger counters. So you're going to see these all the time on eBay listed as Geiger counters. They're not Geiger counters. The most common ones you're going to see are the CDV 742s, which are represented by these scales here. They measure from 0 to 200 rentgens of total radiation exposure. Um, I have a CDV 730 here, uh, military style, and a modern FEMA dosimeter. Um, out of these three, the only one that's useful to the average consumer is this gray one right here. It's a FEMA super low. It measures 0 to 20 millirentgens, which is a very, very small amount of radiation. And this can go to full scale in about a month just from background radiation. So you can actually measure background radiation with this little gray one. But the trade-off is that it's extremely expensive. It normally rents about $250 per unit like that. Whereas the yellow ones you see all the time for about five bucks and they're pretty much just a curiosity. They're completely useless. Unless there's a nuclear war, which in case you probably want them tested and calibrated to make sure they actually work. So I'm going to talk a little bit about the Model 715 now. It's an ion chamber survey meter um, designed in 1960. Um, when it was designed, it used high mega ohm resistors, which have since been replaced by um, more modern types of resistors. And just in general, it's a very outdated design, and it really should not be trusted at all. It's because um, when you turn it on and zero it, using this little zero knob here, I'm going to turn to zero. And once we get this zeroed, okay, that's, that's pretty much zero. 
Then we're going to turn it on to the 0.1 times setting. This is its most sensitive setting. Now I've fixed mine. It works. I know it works. Um, but most of them don't work. If you get one of these and you put a battery in it and it circuit checks and it zeroes just like it should in the manual, the manual says, hey, if it circuit checks and zeroes, that means it works. Well, they don't work. So on the 0 0.1 time setting, you should not be getting an ingredient at all in normal life. Now, if you've got a reading here, you better like find out where the radiation source is because you're being exposed to potentially lethal amounts of radiation by sitting in a radiation field like that. But in 99.99999% of cases, if you're not in the middle of a nuclear holocaust or sitting inside a nuclear reactor, um, your meter's just broken. It needs to be fixed or just put up on the shelf as a curiosity. Don't trust it. Do not trust the CDV 715s. They're just, they're pretty much useless. Don't trust them, even if you fix them. Whereas the Model 700s can be fixed with um, modern resistors, modern capacitors. Um, if they weren't working already, I have a a couple 700s made in 1959 that are 100% original, haven't had a single part replaced, and they work great. And they can be trusted, they hold the calibration very well, and, you know, I'll trust them with my life any day of the week. So, if you're looking for a useful meter, avoid at all costs the CDV715 as a rate meter unless you're buying it directly from a calibration lab that has put in all brand new electronics on the inside. Even then, for the cost, you might as well just contact Ludlam Instruments and buy a modern unit. Um, if you're looking for something useful, get a CDV700. It's a Geiger counter. It's a true Geiger counter. They're pretty cheap, usually under $100. And make sure that the seller has tested it beforehand. They all have a check source inside. It's very, very easy to test, and there's really no excuse for not testing it. Now, as far as just go, um, CDV 742 is pretty much useless, and I really wouldn't recommend the average consumer buying a dosimeter, unless you really want one, I guess, um, because they're just not gonna be useful for you.